Okay. All right. The difference between this particular incident is just how vast it is. I mean, we have individual cases of swastika is being painted, and you know they just don't get recorded. Uh, you know, we hope people will report it. But this was very different. 14 different locations, as many as 14 locations, of multiple situations at different locations. Uh, it really sort of shocked the community. You know, one of the things that I've been talking about that I think is very important. You know, this is not about graffiti. Uh, this is not a, about a victimless crime. This community still has a lot of Holocaust survivors. And for people like that, when something like this happens, uh, you cannot imagine the effect. They went through hell on earth back in the Holocaust. And when they hear about a swastika down the block, when they hear about uh, F the Jews or something like that, it really brings back memories of what they went through. My mother, who passed away a year ago, and went to Auschwitz in 1944, and her mother was killed in the gas chambers the very same day my mother got there. Every time there was an incident, and my mother heard about it and followed it, it had unbelievable impact on her. It was almost like she was going back to that period. And that's the kind of pain that this person caused that uh, a lot of people don't realize. So, police department did an amazing job, you know, surveillance cameras, video surveillance cameras, which I'm a very big supporter of, you know. That's a very uh, big supporter of surveillance cameras. Well, I, the Kletsky Initiative, uh, the cameras are going up as we speak every single day. Uh, more and more cameras go uh, go up. We, we, this has nothing to do with this, but we had a, bre a car, uh, a break-in in a car. They ripped out the guts of the car right on the corner of L and Ocean Parkway. Right here, there's a surveillance cameras, one of my cameras, one of my babies, right outside. We're going to have pictures of the guy who did that. So there's no question that very, very important. If we didn't have a picture of this guy, we, you know, I spoke to Chief Monahan earlier, he called me. By the way, I just want to mention something else to you, that uh, D.A. Thompson actually called me about three hours ago, reached out to me and just said to me that he will, you know, throw the book at this guy in every single way. So everyone is taking this very seriously. Uh, you know, this is something that just created unbelievable pain in our community.